The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Please support the official release. I wanted to let you know that I briefed Light about our plans to have him record a message for Kira. But before he arrives, I wanted to have a word with you. Not even a good morning. Looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, then. Morning, boss. Morning, chief. <laughs> Yo, I understand you're suspicious of my son being our killer. I know I told you I would forgive you for approaching Light against my wishes. And now that he's agreed to join the task force, it is beyond my control to keep you two separated. Oh, we'll be inseparable, all right. <laughs> oh? Not like that. <laughs> Since Light's bound to show up at any moment, I need to ask you this now. Can you please not embarrass me in front of my son? Well, Chief Yagami, I suppose it's only fair since you've been so patient with my suspicions that your son is a speedy stabber. You mean Kira. Right. <laughs> Good. That must be him. Hello, Light, and welcome to the team. Thank you. I... <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I look forward to working with you all. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> By the way, how was your trip here? Would you care for something to eat, or perhaps a beverage? Oh, I'm okay, thank you. Are you sure? We have all kinds of snacks. Anything you could possibly want. We have sweets, chips, we even have... If you're the killer, say what? Hmm? What? Aha! You got got! Sick 'em, boys! <laughs> All right, Light. You're under arrest for suspicion of being- Knock it off, Matsuda. Sorry. <laughs> Bazinga. I broadcasted that message. Doesn't he know it's incredibly rude to leave someone unread? I tried to tell you that it would not work. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> You're just a spooky skeleton. You don't have any idea what it's like to love someone so dearly when they don't even have the decency to acknowledge your existence. While I may not understand your plight, I can sympathize. What do you mean? In my world, the Shinigami realm, we have no hobbies, no television. We hardly have what could be considered an infrastructure. Our only pastime that's worth our waking efforts is the reaping of life. Wow, that sounds a lot like our world. Except for the no TVs and fun, though. That sounds like hell. Indeed. 
So does that mean you guys just spend all your time purging each other? No. It is impossible to kill a Shinigami. When we write human names in our death notes, the unused remaining lifespan of that human is added to our own. But wait, that doesn't make any sense. Why do you need to put more years on your life if you can't die? Also, what does this have to do with love? Be patient. I'm getting there. Harumph. There was one Shinigami I knew well. Jealous. Most others would pay him no mind, but he intrigued me. He was a meek creature. Seldom would he write in his notebook, only enough to let him linger on. One day, I paid him a visit. There he was, perched atop of the precipice that separated our two worlds. Isn't she beautiful? I do not have an opinion one way or the other. I understand today is the day. Yeah. He had fallen in love with a human girl. Her lifespan was set to reach its end on that day. While she walked home at night, she was accosted by a rather disturbed individual. Hey baby! I noticed you didn't return any of my calls. I figured you were probably too moved by my poetry to respond. But don't worry, I forgive you. To me, it was akin to watching a bad comedy. But to Jealous, it was as if the world was crumbling before him. What? You don't remember me? <laughs> of course you do. I was your barista at Starbucks eight months ago. I can't even remember what you ordered. Did you like your venti ice caramel macchiato with oat milk, six shots espresso, five pumps caramel syrup, three pumps brown sugar syrup, extra caramel drizzle, and light whip? <laughs> I've made one every day since anticipating you returning. But you never did come back. Did you, whore? What? Are you too good for me? You think you can just ignore a nice guy like me? You skank! <laughs> Whoa, 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 what are you doing? I can save her. I can save her, 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 I can save her. I have to save her! That would be the last name Jealous ever wrote. I did it! I saved her life! Rem! I. I... I don't feel so good. <sighs> ashes to ashes. He became dust in the wind that day. All because he loved a simple looking human girl. Wow. Rem. Yes? I put a lot of effort into my appearance. I don't appreciate being called simple looking. My mistake. Ah, whatever. So this jealous died for me, huh? Well, I guess I should be grateful. After all, without his sacrifice, I wouldn't have this sweet goth death book. Sure do wish Kira would give me some sort of sign that he's noticed me, though. I wonder what he's doing right now. Wrong! Do it again, and I want it happier and with your mouth open! I don't know what that means! What's not to get? Do it right! Bring out your inner Kira! I'm trying! Perhaps we should stop him. Uh -huh. We've been at this for hours already, and we've recorded everything dozens of times over. I'm sure we have everything we need for the final product. 
That's a, that's a... <sighs> I guess it can't be helped. Not everyone is a born thespian such as myself. Wait, I thought L was a man. I knew that pixie cut looked too good on him. We will air this tonight. I'll have Watery touch it up with some movie magic so it'll be at least semi-watchable. Sorry. Light, do you have any nicer outfits you can wear to the premiere? Um, I have a red jacket. That'll do. I really appreciate you taking the effort to rent a private theater out for the showing, Mike. But still, I kind of figured it would be more than just the two of us. Intimate, no? What? Shh, 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 it's starting. Hello, people of Earth. I am Kira. But like, the real one this time. I'm here to address the Kira who held the innocent people at Sakura TV hostage. I witnessed your stunt, and I gotta say what you did was pretty cool. We should get lunch at like, a nice restaurant or something. One with like, a patio so we can get some fresh air. Sit down out in the open and rest our speedy legs. Anyway. If you're interested, meet me at the GC Deuce next Wednesday. Alright, see ya. Wow, that was great. Any criticisms? Well, I guess I wonder why you didn't make a custom logo for our Kira. Like your fancy little L emblem. <sighs> Look, I would have put a little more into this thing's budget, but I kinda splurged a bit on the skyscraper I'm having built downtown. You're building a skyscraper?! Don't worry about it. Watori, cancel the broadcast, we are not sending this out! This was a live stream, idiot. It's already premiered across Japan. Oh, god damn it! Ugh. It's fine, it's fine. Let's just call it a night and reconvene tomorrow. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, hey, I did get to appear in this episode. Now who on earth could be visiting at this hour? I look at it! Oh, oh, okay, just answer my door. Acting like you've lived here your whole life. <laughs> I hope it is dearest father, Sojourno Yankovic. Hello, Father! How was your... Huh? Huh? Huh! Hello. I'm from the Journal Junkie startup, and I'm surveying the rate of interest in keeping physical journals as technological advancements encourage digital and online blogging. Would there be anyone at this residence who frequently partakes in analog journaling? Hmm. Let me ask my brother. Oh, brother! A beautiful woman wishes to see you! Oh my god, I actually found him! And he's super hot! Thank god for that, I was worried I'd have to kill him and make a new kidda, but this works out great! He appears to be the stoic type. I wonder what's going through his mind right now. Is this the end? Nah. Well, for everyone still watching, go click that subscribe button. Please, I need this job. <laughs>